Hi, it's Nolan Hames from thebetterdeckdeck.com, and here's how to release a compound path from a PowerPoint vector shape. Now, this is an icon that I brought in from the Noun Project, and it came in as an SVG, which is very useful because that is a vector format. You can do a lot with it, you can recolor it, but you can't ungroup it into these individual pieces until you go up to Graphics Format, over to Convert to Shape, click that, and now it should be a bunch of individual shapes, but it is not. And that's because I've just discovered that this particular icon, this particular SVG, is a compound path, which is slowing me down. How do I know it's a compound path? Well, you can right click any vector shape in PowerPoint, go to edit points, and from there you'll see this telltale diagonal line and that is saying that even though it looks like uh, multiple vector objects in this graphic, it's actually made up of just one. It's really weird, but it's just a, the way the software is programmed. Now, releasing this in Illustrator would be really easy to do, but in PowerPoint, it's a little more difficult. What we're going to do is make a rectangle and select that and make that rectangle and have it go over the entire uh, shape. And we're going to send it to the back. With that selected, we're going to shift click our compound path and then go up to Merge Shapes over here. Under Merge Shapes, we're gonna go down to Fragment. Once we click Fragment, it's gonna fragment it into a whole bunch of different pieces. Most of these we don't need. So we're gonna take away this helper piece on the outside, we're gonna take away the one on the inside, we're gonna take away this one here, and now we actually have what we wanted, which is just a series of individual shapes that we can now recolor and do whatever we want with. So that is a very simple icon. You can do this with even more complicated uh, vector objects as well. If you bring something in from Illustrator, like this, uh, this is an iStock uh, uh, illustration that I brought in. Same thing here. If I wanted to uh, make that ball a different color, it's a compound path. Right click, edit points, there's that telltale line. What am I gonna do? Same thing. Draw a big helper rectangle over the whole thing, send it to the back, shift click it, merge shapes, fragment, and I get a whole bunch of things I don't want, no problem. I'm just gonna select them, delete them, delete my one on the outside. Now this whole uh, little soccer player, you can see uh, some cutouts there. He's one shape, the ball's another shape. I can make that a different color. You can also use this if you're trying to break apart charts. So this is a live uh, PowerPoint chart. If I wanted to turn this into shapes, what I would do is I'd cut it, I'd go up to Paste Special, I paste it as an SVG, then I would convert that SVG to shapes thinking I'm gonna get a whole bunch of rectangular bars once I ungroup it. And what do I get? Well, I actually get the blue ones are all a compound path. The yellow one is not. Simple, go up here, make my helper rectangle, put it in the back, shift click my blues, merge shapes, fragment, select, select and get rid of that helper rectangle. And now I have a whole bunch of individual bars that I can animate. I can do whatever else I need to with it. So that is releasing a compound path in PowerPoint. And if you want to design slides without bullet points, check out thebetterdeckdeck.com. Use the code YouTube for 15% off any version, digital, physical, or the PowerPoint source files.